Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and in this video, we're going to take a look at this beast, the Nyrica Prime. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching Electrek. Track, 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 track. This bike is hugely powerful and hugely popular. Blazing up the trails and through the streets, it's easy to notice people turning their heads to catch a gander at one of the most striking bikes on the market today. Meet the Nyrica Prime. This carbon fiber high powered head turner is a parade on two wheels and a tank on the trails. Surprisingly, the bike is very customizable, giving you options of components, electronics, and even color. So let's break it down. The Nyrica website is kind of like a car website with a building tool for all the options and components that you'd like on your bike. The bike we're rocking today is pearlized red in color using the upgraded Bafang Ultra 1000 watt motor, a larger 840 watt hour battery, color display, carbon fiber fork, Shimano XT group set, 203 millimeter disc brakes, regular saddle, and tossed in a throttle kickstand and a smart taillight with fenders too. This kind of customization is quite rare in the electric bike industry, especially for something so clean. There are hundreds of e-bike companies that have literally zero options for their bike, and with so much at your fingertips for Nyrica, this is quite a welcome improvement to the overall experience. To my surprise, the bike ships mostly assembled and ready to rock. I didn't get an empty frame and a box full of parts. Just a few steps like the accessories, front wheel, handlebars, and charging up the battery. Oh, had to charge up the taillight battery. This little light is pretty cool. The mount is kind of slick, but the light actually has a mode to switch on for vibration. I haven't seen this before on a production bike, so this is actually really neat. Anyways, let's jump on the bike and see how it rides, which is my favorite part. Despite the girth of this monster, it's actually kind of light at 62 pounds. I realize that's heavy in total, but I was expecting around 80, so they get good points for that. The carbon fiber frame is pretty comfortable and the plush tires give it a measure of comfort as well. The frame is designed with a touch of flex in it, though Nyrica has a dual suspension bike called the Homie if you really want to get a real suspension. Riding off-road, the bike feels like a tank in a very good way. The 1000 watt motor made it really easy to bound up hills and kind of ignore a lot of obstacles. Combined with pedal power, this bike could climb pretty much anything with the right kind of balance and traction. The Titan technical riding isn't really a strong suit, mostly because the bike is big and heavy. But for fire roads, the bike is right at home. Now, the Prime is a power hog, if you couldn't guess. That big motor will eat up a battery really quick if you go all out. And by the way, you're going to want to go all out because it's a lot of fun and you're probably not going to get this bike so that you can be cautious about range. The bike can hold a fair amount of battery in here, but getting the battery in and out of that snug compartment isn't that easy. And by the way, this problem is not exclusive to Nyrica. I had the same problem with a Yamaha battery, very similar. Anyways, moving on. Riding in town, the bike is stunning. Perfectly polished, pearlized paint makes for an easy cruising wherever you go. Do you really need a carbon fiber fat tire 48 volt 1000 watt monster to get to the grocery store? Pfft, you don't get this kind of bike for practicality. You get it because you like it. And that's as valid a reason as any. Pricing starts at $2,499 before any upgrades or discounts. Which, by the way, I have seen Nyrica do sales sometime. And if you check out the link in the description, we've got a coupon code where you can save on the purchase of your own Nyrica bike. Before we wrap up, you should know that while the bike is capable of some off-road and commuting, it doesn't specialize in either of these. It is totally unique, powerful, beautiful, and a total wild card in the e-bike space. I'm really happy to see new designs come out, and I'm happy the Nyrica Prime can elicit such an exciting emotion just from one look. There are many bikes out there that focus on practicality or narrow performance, but let's face it, they can be kind of boring. To conclude, the Nyrica Prime is an overpowered sidewalk assault vehicle that can melt the eyes of passerbys, both old and young. If slowly cruising Fifth Avenue or roaring through the trails sounds like a winning combination, then I think you should give the Nyrica a good look. I can tell you from personal experience, I've had a lot of fun on this bike. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Electrek, and I will see you guys on later. What?